Hi, this is Felix from Tensia, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Threadbus to connect a MISP instance to Zeek, the network security monitor. First of all, Threadbus can be thought of as a message broker, but not for arbitrary messages, but rather messages in the security domain, and that are indicators of compromise, IOCs, and sightings of those. Now, in this video, we're going to look at MISP and Zeek. MISP is an open source threat intelligence platform. It allows you to collect and manage IOCs or other security incidents even. Zeek, on the other hand, is an open source network security monitoring tool. And Zeek has an Intel framework. Whatever goes into this Intel framework, Zeek can match. Matching Intel means that Zeek for example, taps off a wire, and whenever it sees a malicious domain or something that is marked as an indicator of compromise, it generates a sighting of that. So in this example, we're going to use MISP to create a new attribute or IOC, and then we're going to use Threadbus to forward it to Zeek. Then lastly, we're going to invoke some network traffic that Zeek gets to see, so it generates a sighting and reports that via Threadbus back to MISP. Let's start with the MISP event view. This is the web interface of MISP and this is the event list. So here in the left hand panel I'm going to add a new event first. We're going to call this example event or maybe even evil example event. I'm going to add it. And now this event is quite empty. It doesn't have any attributes. Attributes in MISP are indicators of compromise, and we're going to add one later. But first of all, now we're going to install Threadbus on my local machine. So I have a folder here, which is almost empty except a config file. We're going to need that config file a bit later on. So first of all, I'm going to start a virtual environment, and then I'm going to use this virtual environment. Next step is I'm going to um, upgrade my pip installation in that virtual environment. And now I'm going to use pip to install Threadbus. But not just Threadbus, but a bunch of plugins. Threadbus in general is organized in plugins, and for every application that you want to connect, you have to have a plugin. For Zeek and MISP, there already exist plugins. We're also going to install this one here in MEM, Threadbus in MEM. Um, that is a backbone plugin. We differentiate application plugins and backbone plugins. And this backbone plugin here, um, this in memory backbone plugin, is just used for internal routing inside of Threadbus, how it distributes the messages. Since we do it all local, I'm going to use in mem. So now we have Threadbus installed here. And now I can just invoke it with a config file that we have. Let's look at the config file first. The config file is quite simple. It's a YAML file and it's differentiated or it's uh, separated in two sections. First one is logging and uh, we're going to use console logging and we're going to use uh, the debug verbosity so we get to see actually what happens inside of the thread bus. And then we have the plugins section and in here all installed plugins um, or all plugins that you want to actually load and run into thread bus have to be mentioned here. So the inmem plugin doesn't need any configuration. Um, but the application plugins do. So we have a Zeek section in here, which is actually configured to use localhost or um, uh, not use, but use this as an endpoint to spawn a listener localhost on that port. And um, then we have the MISP plugin, which is configured to use this MISP instance. This is my MISP API key, so there is really not much in here. So that's my config file, and now we're going to use that to start a thread bus with this config file. And we see info logging here from thread bus that successfully three plugins have been started up, MISP, Zeek, and the in-memory backbone. And next thing is we are going to connect a Zeek instance. So let me put that below and make some space here. We go to the same folder. And now what we need is a Zeek, a Zeek script. The Zeek script will tell or instruct Zeek to actually connect to the bus. How we're going to do that is we head over to GitHub. And 
and we're going to check the applications and we're going to find a Zeek script and now we are going to download this file do it the old man's way just paste the contents in here and I have a I have these three files in my demo folder and we're going to feed this script to the Zeek instance we're not going into the details of the script but what this does basically is it um, makes Zeek aware of thread bus of specifically the endpoint that we configured here in this config YAML. So Zeek will connect thread, uh, connect to thread bus. Um, and when that matches with how we spawn thread bus, then they get a connection. And what this also does is it enables Zeek to listen to a specific thread bus topic, uh, which would be intelligence. And um, it also will, once items arrive on that topic, make Zeek ingest those items into the Intel framework. So now let's start Zeek. Um, so first of all, the parameters I use here, well, let's check the version first, sorry. Um, I'm using Zeek version 3.1.3, which is pretty recent. Um, the newest version is, uh, at least that I'm aware of, 3.1.4, but Threadbus should also work for that version. So next is we are going to use Zeek and um, the interface. This is my wireless network interface we're going to use here. Um, and then I am specifying capital C, which just tells Zeek to not look at checksums uh, in the traffic so it doesn't discard anything no matter what. And as a last parameter, we load this script. So let's start it. And um, I want you to watch the upper terminal for log output when I start Zeek. So what we see here is a debug message from Threadbus, a Zeek plugin in particular, not, not the main Threadbus. And um, it says it received a subscription request for this topic, Threadbus Intel. And on the other side, we see that Zeek itself also had something to say. It logged that it's, had <clears throat> that it's uh, trying to subscribe to Threadbus and um, that it's using this port that port is what we configured also for Threadbus, so they kind of found each other. Um, it worked, they peered, and then finally Zeek subscribed to a special topic for exactly this Zeek instance that is also this uh, randomized gibberish here at the end. So this particular topic now belongs to this very Zeek instance. If I would spawn another Zeek instance, it would get its very own topic, so we can make sure that each Zeek instance sees exactly the traffic that it's supposed to see. Now let's head over to our Miss Web View and add some attributes in here. We want to create an indicator of compromise. And I'm going to use network activity. And in this example, we are using simply a domain. And the domain is going to be example.com. Now I will use this checkbox for intrusion detection systems. Because if this checkbox is checked, then Threadbus will actually pick up the event. If this checkbox is not checked, then Threadbus will get noticed about the event but will not forward it. We built it so that you have a mechanism for uh, deciding what you want Threadbus to publish or not. Let me put this real quick on this other screen here so we can see what happens in near real time. Let me make some space here when I hit the submit button on this side. So the expectation is that we see that Threadbus has something to say about new events and that then Zeek will pick them up. Okay, here we go. Let me move this away again. Um, we see that the backbone got a new message about an intelligence item. It has a timestamp, um, it has a source, and this is the actual indicator example.com. And then the next thing is we get a debug message from the Zeek plugin, which says, hey, I, I published this Intel item. Um, and down here on uh, the lower part of my window, we see that Zeek actually also locked something and it says, hey, I added this to my Intel framework. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to generate a citing. 
So as I started Zeek on this network interface, I can simply, whatever I do on my normal network card will be picked up by Zeek. So I can simply use this domain example.com and Zeek should be, um, be aware of it. Uh, so let's do that. So I'm gonna resolve that domain. And the expectation now is that Zeek gets to know about that and it has this uh, indicator of compromise example.com in its Intel list. So it knows this is something bad. So the moment I hit enter here on the right hand side, Zeek should generate a sighting. And then in turn, once that, that sighting is out, it should uh, be broadcasted by Threatbus and lastly be forwarded to MISP. Now, how can we see that in MISP? You see this very tiny 000, zero here. Let me increase that a bit. Um, this 000, zero zero, there are no sightings of this event whatsoever. And we're going to um, bump that number. So now I'm going to dig example.com. All right, and we saw cited something, something with a certain ID. And um, on the thread bus side of things, we see that the background received a new message. Hey, there is a citing. And then the next thing is the MISP plugin reports. Hey, I'm reporting this Intel. Uh, I'm reporting the citing for this special Intel ID 79 with this timestamp. And let's check this window here. I just refreshed the page and now we see that there has indeed been a sighting and also the activity graph went up. Yes, so that is how MISP and Z can be connected in real time via Threadbus. You can find Threadbus on PyPy, also all Threadbus plugins. Um, we also have a GitHub page, which is github.com slash tensia. And uh, you can all find all of our projects in there, especially Threadbus. The plugins are inside uh, the same repository in the plugins folder. We welcome contributions. We actually had one uh, last month regarding SIF. And uh, yeah, that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again.